Hello and welcome to Chips and Salsa, where we talk security at Intel. I'm Jerry. I'm Krobe. Hey, it's that time again, Krobe. <gasps> yeah, it's Patch Tuesday. <laughs> yes, it's Patch Tuesday again, and today is August 13th, 2024. And we are releasing the 2024.3 Intel platform update and other security advisories. This month, we have a total of 43 advisories addressing 70 vulnerabilities with CVSS scores ranging from 2.2 low uh, all the way up to 8.8, which is high. Yeah. And this month, we are very proud to state that 100% of all the vulnerabilities that were disclosed were found through Intel's proactive measures. That includes thing, our programs like PCERT, our bug bounty programs, and all of our Intel security researchers. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats to the team and thank you to the researchers that collaborated with us through the, our bug bounty programs to coordinate the disclosure of the awesome bugs they found. Yeah, let's dive into the specifics of the August advisories. The Intel platform update and the security advisories will cover firmware, software, and hardware advisories. The vast majority of the updates this month are software updates. And as normal, Intel recommends that customers review all the advisories and the associated data and apply the relevant latest updates um, for all the available, and all this stuff should be available today uh, through either Intel or our ecosystem partners. And we have a few advisors this month. We feel we uh, need to take note and we want to uh, highlight. Jerry, do you want to get us started? For sure. Uh, we'll start with Intel SA00999, which was uh, discovered by Intel researchers. This is a chipset advisory, so it's covering our converged management security engine, uh, or CSME, uh, and active management technology, or AMT and the Intel ProSet wireless and Intel killer Wi-Fi software. Uh, the advisory includes six CVEs, the most severe of which is rated at a 6.8 using the CVSS scoring system. Our researchers found these potential vulnerabilities uh, that may allow escalation of privilege, a denial of service, or information disclosure. So we're releasing uh, firmware updates to mitigate these potential vulnerabilities. Yeah. And uh, speaking of you know, connectivity, we have uh, two Ethernet advisories we want to uh, tell people about. Uh, the first is Intel SA00918, and we also have Intel SA01106. 918, that's shown on the screen here, speaks to a potential security vulnerability in some Intel Ethernet controllers and adapters that may allow escalation of privilege or denial of service. Again, we're releasing firmware and software updates to mitigate these potential vulnerabilities. And when we look at 1106, this is about a potential security vulnerability in some Ethernet adapter driver pack software. And uh, this software could potentially allow escalation of privilege, and we're releasing software updates to help mitigate this potential vulnerability. Yeah, I bet you people didn't know that Intel is also a software company. Right. <laughs> The last two advisories we want to touch on are Intel SA01073 and 01010, uh, which are both related to Intel Trust Domain Extensions or Intel TDX. 01073 is a microcode update uh, addressing potential denial of service, and uh, 01010 addresses a potential escalation of privilege issue in the TDX module. Both of these are medium severity and mitigations of, are applied by cloud service providers who are providing confidential compute services uh, through TDX. So for those following the Black Hat conference last week, these issues were presented by Maxime Villard of Microsoft who found them during a joint security review of Intel or by Intel and Microsoft uh, of TDX version 1.5 while it was in development. So this was a really good collaboration and outcome, uh, which you can hear more about in the Chips and Salsa video we did with the team at the link below. Excellent. And Jerry, you know, as we wind down for this month, we want to share a short list of our system manufacturing partners who also will have additional advisories releasing in August. Please visit the link and get to the full list of supported sites. And with that, you know, uh, the old Patch Hat says, happy patching. We're going to see you next time. Thanks for watching and keep your systems up to date.